I'm John with Ride Up State, and this is week eight on my road to a 90% acceptance rate. Let's dive into the trips, and then I'll give you a summary at the end. Okay, so the first trip here was from Monday, I believe. Yep, and it was in the morning. And it was for $19.57 for a distance of 12.5 miles. And it was about 22 and a half seconds. 22 and a half seconds? 22 and a half minutes. Uh, let's see. The fare was 1950. The total fare was 1957, uh, which included a 750 surge and 16 cents for wait time at pickup. The customer paid $43 for this trip, and so Uber paid me less than 50% of this fare. The next trip, uh, same morning, $8.23 for 2.1 miles, about eight and a half minutes for that trip. Uh, total fare was $8.23, and that included six eighty two dollars for uh, the fare, a $0.41 cent, uh, consecutive trip bonus and a dollar surge. So that brought it to the total of $8.23. Customer paid $12.98 for this. So I got the majority of that fare. Um, something to note here on the consecutive trip bonus that you're going to see is that they are higher this week. And that is because the consecutive trip bonus went from 5% to 10%, which is pretty amazing. Um, uh, as we'll see when we start looking at numbers on how that Im impacts my costs to operate my vehicle. So here's another one. Um, this was that afternoon, $7.53 for 3.4 miles, 8 minutes and 39 seconds. The fare was seven fifty three dollars in total. Um, $0.36 cents of that was a consecutive trip bonus. And something you may note so far, no tips at this point. Next, we have that same afternoon, $13.98 that I got paid. There was a tip for this one, $3. So the fare was $10.98. In total, uh, $6.98 for the fare, $4 in surge, $3 in tip. Um, the customer paid $24.95. So when you take out the tip, so the fare was $10.98. When you take out the tip, um, Uber paid me less than 50% of the fare on this one. 12.19 um, for 11.1 miles, uh, 14 minutes. So this was, I've now got my uh, destination filter turned on, and so it's taking me back home for the evening. $12.19 in total, 11.61 of that was a fair. 58 cents was the consecutive trip bonus. 8.24, um, it's another one here, another little shorty. 5.4 miles, $9.20. They tipped me a dollar. Thank you. Every dollar counts. Uh, $7.24 for the, was the total. Um, I got $0.24 cents of uh, wait time, and the fare was $7. I must have canceled. I must have not accepted a trip here because there was, in between the last one and this one, no consecutive trip bonus on this one. So eleven ninety seven dollars for this one. Again, Monday evening. Um, I guess maybe I didn't have my destination filter on because now I'm going in the opposite direction. So there's that. Uh, so the total was 11.97 for 7.5 miles, 21 minutes. Um, the fare was 11.50 and a consecutive trip bonus of 47 cents. I keep forgetting to mention the total pay. So uh, the final one for this week, all my trips were done on Monday, 5.50 for 11 minutes and three miles. Uh, the fare, 524 plus a 26 cent consecutive trip bonus. Customer paid 1094. So I got approximately, I mean, 550. Yeah. So I got approximately 50 cents, 50% 50 of that fare. And that is it for week eight. Let me look at some overall numbers here that I'll flash up on the screen here. Um, I did a total of eight trips for $87.21, which averages out to $10.88 per trip. 
Uh, two hours and 55 minutes on app came out to $29 per hour. 2.2 hours of utilization time, which comes out to $39.50 per hour. Drove a total of 61 miles, which brought me to about $1.43 per mile. I got two tips, so a 25% tip rate, four consecutive trip bonuses for $2.08. And the fuel cost, um, I estimated about a one point three six gallons of fuel used and i think i paid like 380 a gallon that that week uh, so five dollars and 17 cents i ended the week with a 67 percent acceptance rate and an eight percent cancellation rate um, and now that i think about it it wasn't this week that the consecutive trip bonus went up to 10 percent. i believe it's next week so when we talk about week nine we'll get into that once again all right, so that's it. We're slowly making our way up to 90%, and I'll just kind of give you a preview. We hit 70% next week, which was kind of goal one, right? So in my next video, I'll talk about that. Until next time, I'm John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you live in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.